Hello and welcome back to today's video. We are going to talk about how we can edit a miniature photography. I'm going to use Photoshop for this. So let's get on with the editing. So let me quickly open up the images now and uh, I'm going to open the setup. I've opened up the image in Photoshop. I'll do some basic tweaks. A little of exposure. And uh, let me see what we get with the contrast. Highlights are fine. Open up the exposure a little bit. Blacks. Shadows. Good. And a um, little bit of temperature setting here to the cooler side. I think that looks fine. Here we go. So I have the setup here, and uh, this is how it looks. I will first crop it. I just, I think this much is fine. I don't know on the entire scene here. And uh, probably this is what I want. That's fine. Now we need to get the subject in. And we open the subject. So here we have the boy image, the subject, and we're going to go and lower down the exposure a bit, the highlights. Uh, maybe the temperature on a little on the cooler side to match with the setup. And a uh, little bit of opening of shadows. Not the top of whites. And here we open up the image. So what I'm going to do is quickly I'm going to drag him from here by select by the selection tool. I say command C or control C and command V. I have brought the boy to the setup. Now what we need to do is we need to work on the boy's image. So what I'm going to do is okay, uh, I'm adding another layer and I'm disabling the setup because I want to see what my selection is going to look like when I'm doing it. I'll come to the pen tool. I'll press P. There are many other ways to do it, but I am using the pen tool over here. There are a lot of lot of selection ways in Photoshop. And uh, for this, I'm using a pen. Quickly, gonna rush through this. So I mean, quick selection. So, folks, uh, I'm just showing you the technique of uh, you know editing the image, and I'm not going to do a very perfect job. I'll try my best to do so, but then it, if there's some little bit of crudeness, please do excuse me because. I don't want to make the length of the video too long. This is just a process and when you are working on your image, you can take all the time to do a much better selection. This is just a process to show you all how this works or else this video length will just go on and people may not like to see a such a long video. So here we have completed the selection. I will right click and I will say make this a selection for me and again i'll add a feather to have a bit of smoothness i'll say okay now what i'll do is i will press i need to make it inverse otherwise if i delete the boy get delete so i press command shift i or control shift i and i'm inverse with the selection now and here we go now the boy is way too big for the cup we need to probably make it a bit smaller and probably I'm looking at the point here, the pant or the trouser and the shirt which is wearing. I want this part probably to be in, so I'm just making a temporary marking of this. And I'll zoom it a bit and see where it is, how it's looking. If you see the legs are in the air, so I need to probably take him a bit down. So I have used the command T or the control T so which transforms the image. I am using the rotation key to get my angle right. As I told you, angle is very important. This may look a little unnatural because there are no shadows now, so we are going to work on it. Earlier when we had shot this, I had mentioned that angle is very important, you will see why. 
so i have more or less put the boy on the cup and i am just going to work a little bit on his uh, clothing i am this is not looking good but doesn't make difference because this is going to be cut off as it is so i need to get rid of this the selection was not fine because as i told you i am just working on the edit part today to show you the whole process and if i end up doing the perfect edit it will be a very lengthy video which we do not want to give a viewers otherwise they get bored and they may not see it ahead so here we have the boy now we need to fit the boy in the cup what i'm going to do here is um i'm going to reduce the opacity of the boy to see this area if you see the i'm pointing out the mouse cursor see this is the cup lining this showing me where the boy exactly is in the cup if i do go down further so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use the polygon laser tool and i'm just making a selection on the opacity because i this is showing me uh how much the boy is in the cup it is giving me a rough idea out here now and so yeah i have made the selection and what i'm going to do is i am going to delete this part off so here we see and i increase the opacity now it doesn't it look that the boy is in the cup but what has also happened is here if you notice there has been a bit of uh, this part is not looking that great because of the cup shape is looking disoriented so i added a mask a vector mask to this boy image because i want to paint out some of the part over here now what i'm doing here i'm just probably taking the boy a little out of the cup and uh, I'm pressing the right key on the keyboard and slowly getting him in the cup. I have to see where is it going wrong in terms of the cup has to match the body, otherwise it's look, not looking that great. Okay, fine. I'll just take it a bit outside here now. Yeah, taking a bit down using the arrow key, and I think that's kind of fine, and it look good. Now what we need to do here is we are seeing his legs but they are looking there as if they are in the air so we have this blank layer down I will take a brush tool I have taken a black color and I will go to the opacity and I will make it a bit natural I will add a bit of shadow here but still it is not that dark maybe around 60% or 62% should be fine yeah and I will also paint this part because this, his legs are casting the shadow on the table. We need to make it a bit natural. Fixing the beans here, they are casting the shadow on the left hand side. So I am trying to replicate that kind of feeling and I think this is a little too much. And now what I need to do is I also need to add a bit of shadow to the boy on his shoulder and side as if the cup is casting the shadow on him because that's how uh, it happened in a natural world I will take another layer I don't want to disturb that layer and I will probably come to say around 40 36 whatever and I'll start what I'll do is I am going to disable this setup and only paint on the boy here okay I need to take this layer up because it was below the boy so it would not show up so the layer is now above the boy and say it up here on 55 and I am going to just paint and here I have the setup now what has happened here since the layer is on top of the boy uh, you can see the shadow has come on the cup if you don't want to so what we'll do is we'll add another mask layer and we are, we are going to remove it off so we'll keep it black as it is black means erasing and white means adding to it so now 
so here we go you need to see that you don't need magic so i think i need to cast some more shadow but it is not looking that good uh, yeah probably somewhere around here i'll add a little more of shadow in this area fine and i will probably reduce the opacity here uh, and i will make a little bit of shadow I need to blend them yeah now i think it should be better yeah now that looks much much better and a little bit of shadow we need i want to make the boy's skin is uh, not that warm as the setup so i'll go to adjustment i'll go to color balance and i will just work a little bit on use the yellow area to get a warm yeah i think we are matching it now good so how does it look now folks look cool isn't it now what i'll do is if uh, the boy is uh, very sharp i don't want him that sharp i'll use little bit of uh, blur gaussian blur and no that's way too much if i come to 0.1 uh maybe g maybe 0.3 yeah so here we go the subject should not be tack sharp otherwise uh, it it looks disconnected it does not look good now his hair is looking like a polygon over here and we don't want that so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take uh, add a mask again over here and i'm going to do a little bit of painting over there i'm doing the erasing part i do i'm not using the eraser because if something goes wrong i have to rework on the whole image here i can just simply right click and delete the layer mask off and add another one so here we go the opacity is less i need to make full opacity so here we go and we are doing just a little bit of natural so it's looking like a polygon kind of a feel we don't want that to be an image here a bit here it will not cut out that great so we just so here we do I think it's looking much better now. And uh, now, what I want to do is, I want to add a bit of uh, you know smoke to his uh, copy to make it look nice. I'm adding another layer. I'm going to brush, and um, I have some smoke brush. So I'm going to select one of that. I'll give a link in the description from where you can download the smoke brushes for your Photoshop. and i'm just looking these are the size you can degree the size i'm just looking at what will look good uh yeah i think so fine this is what i do so i'm going to select uh, a grayish color because smoke is gray not very white i'm going to zoom into the boy and i'm going to select my brush by selecting b and here we go i've added some smoke but the smoke is not looking very natural obviously so i'm going to say command t or control t and i'm going to rotate the smoke a little bit and and i think it's fine now again this is a very sharp smoke so we'll make it look natural we'll come to uh, filter blur gaussian blur and we'll make it yeah i think uh, around 1.71 yeah that's i think 1.7 is fine Here we go. Here we can have a nice steam for the smoke coming out of his coffee. Look good, isn't it? Now what I'm going to do is I want to add a bit of drama over here to this image. So I have downloaded this uh, bokeh from the internet, and you can also find it on Google. I'll say Command A, that is Control A on Windows, and uh, yeah. I'll say Command C, that is Copy. and i will paste it in this see okay but uh, if you see it is this how so we need to simply go to the blending modes we have normal probably i use lighten and this is quite a big so i want i don't want i am again i felt control t i am going to see how this looks i need this to be this way uh, i think that's fine and uh, i'm just moving it to fill the screen now this is way too much we need to have less of this so again we'll go back to the brush i added a mask again here and uh, i'll go to the brush tool we can increase the size of the brush here so what we did here is we removed the excess part of the bokeh and if you want to bring it back 
keep the mask on and select the white color white color means adding and black means subtraction so maybe this one this much i won't say this much but still that is uh, i think not that great i think mm, let's try to yeah and what i'll do is i'll reduce the opacity a bit i don't want too much of it to be there and here we have the photo so he's kind of celebrating some festival and this is how the edit looks overall f full screen and i'm zooming into it here we added this here we go this is how we added some drama the boy and uh, I'll be doing a bit of color grading and that video will be separate. I will let me show you the color graded image and the final image how it looks. Two things before we sign out. You need to shoot on RAW plus JPEG and edit only the RAW images because that's how you will be able to color balance and do a lot of things that we saw in the editing video now. And auto white balance is what you need to shoot because if you set your balance to warm or cold, it can create a problem. So do not shoot on any other white balance mode, always shoot on auto white balance. And for now, I'll take a leave and I'll see you in the next video next week.